Yep. We're live. Hey guys. Good evening, everyone. It is uh, Thursday, April 1st. I, I don't think any of us, well, Dad was messing with me a little bit uh, earlier on April 1st, April Fool's Day, but hope you guys had a great day. We got a lot of stuff done today. We've got a brand new project that will be showing on Monday's video, if all goes well, depending on how tomorrow goes. Uh, let's see. Vicky's project of her serving tray turned out uh, amazing. I'm going to show that here in a little bit in conjunction with a question. So um, things are going well. Vicky and I had a terrific Zoom last night with some uh, cool folks that I'll talk about here in a few minutes. And uh, let's see, we've got a couple announcements. Uh, first announcement is... There's been some kind of glitch with the website for a few people, and we've got our IT guy working on it right now. But in the meantime, if you guys are having a tough time getting into the website to order something, and your password's not working, or it gives you some kind of an error, then you can let me know, and I can go in and set a temporary password for you, and that should allow you to get in there and then you can set your own password again at whatever you want. But I've done that for several people and it seems to have worked. So if you guys are having issues getting into the website to order, bless you, then uh, be sure and let me know. Send me a, an email and I will, or send Vicki an email and we can get in there and set you a temporary password that Hi, will everybody. allow you. Hi everybody. My sister's here? Yeah. Hi, Nat Nene. Miss you guys. Um, so let me know on that if you have any issues with the website. Uh, if you have any other issues, then uh, let Vicky know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Secondly, uh, this is really uh, something that we don't do very often, but this is pretty serious stuff. We have a a lady that follows us, one of our uh, Facebook and YouTube followers, that her daughter, a uh, 39-year-old daughter, had uh, a massive stroke. And evidently, it appears that the stroke was related to blood clots three months after having COVID. Now, you know, obviously I can't give any medical advice and we're not giving any medical advice. But if you have had COVID, I guess it, you know, and I did some, a little bit of research on this myself. And if you have had COVID, then they say um, it's, it's possible that you could have blood clots that could lead to strokes. Um, or at least that's, that's what they're checking into. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's been Donna, excuse me, um, uh, mentioned that this happened to her daughter. And, uh, but anyway, um, I, so this is just kind of a public announcement, guys. If you've had COVID, you know, have your, your doctor check you out for that possibility. Um, Cause I never even heard of this until uh, we got notice of it. And, uh, uh, but anyway, it, it just seems like it, it, since we have a platform where there are a few people watching us, uh, we consider you guys all friends and family. And uh, we certainly want to pass that on to you to have you look into that uh, with your with your medical uh, officials and, and your physician. So um, just kind of a uh, public announcement, I guess. FYI. Yeah. yeah, just kind of a FYI. So um, <clears throat> all of our prayers are with, uh, with Donna and her family and uh, hope that that works out. Um, so anyway... Uh, we just felt like we needed to, to talk about that a little bit. Um, tomorrow morning, our Zoom call is actually going to be Vicki and I and uh, some other folks that you guys probably will recognize. You'll certainly recognize the names. And uh, there is talk of doing a meetup out here, what they're calling a Minion Con, not my uh, not my name for it, but that's that's what, what came up. With. That's what they're talking about, and uh, that will be uh, if it's going to happen. It, it's going to happen in 
2022, maybe in the fall of 2022. Anyway, tomorrow morning, uh, if you guys haven't heard about it yet, tomorrow morning there's going to be a Zoom that uh, I edited down to less than a half hour. Tracy Dennett Waller said they told Lori to keep keep an eye out for blood clots. Really? Wow. She had the COVID again. Right. I knew she had the COVID not too long ago. Yeah. So it is a thing. Um, anyway, so... Okay, I pop um, quiz. Who can spot the mistake for tomorrow on tomorrow's video? Oh, yeah. I guess that's true, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Uh, Hi, Jason. Yeah, there is a, actually kind of a blunder during that that video. So uh, Vicky's keeping track of that. If you can catch the mistake on that, uh, let us let us know or let Vicky know. Um, but we're kind of excited about the possibility of that, having a few people out here and uh, kind of having a, just a weekend get together and playing around with some, making mm -hmm. some sawdust. Jamie, and, you got to see if you can find the mistake on the uh, video tomorrow on the Zoom. Yeah, it was something I actually caught in the editing pro process. The Zoom actually lasted over an hour. Yeah, Charlie says it's not a mistake, it's a Charlieism. ism <laughs> um, Zoom out was actually over an hour, but I got it whittled down to a little less than a half hour. There was a lot of banter going back and forth. <laughs> anyway, it was fun. Yeah, I think you guys will enjoy it. So, that is that. Uh... Now, let's get into the questions. So, this is uh, from a brand new guy, Steve. He says, do you have any, and, and this is going to probably sound kind of redundant to you, those of you that have been following for a while, that kind of follow our YouTube channel and follow us on here. Uh, but do you have any videos for beginners to make wooden signs? So, uh, I do, actually. Number one, there's a playlist on uh, the YouTube channel, uh, and the, the title of the playlist is Getting Started, Watch These Videos First. So that's, I think there's like 16 videos in there. I'm not sh exactly sure there might be more than that, but there's, there's a bunch of videos in there. And that gives you kind of a basics, uh, a basics understanding of different things that uh, might be helpful for you starting out. Um, Secondly, I have two videos where I, actually a lot more than two, but two that I picked out that are carving a sign, a simple 6 by 24 sign from start to finish. One of them is uh, number 163 where I carved this sign start to finish, just uh, a little what we call a uh, two line 6 by 24 sign, some outset letters, some inset letters, and a logo. Anyway, that's uh, video number 163, and then video number 202, I made a sign for Vicky Thank for her so office, and uh, I showed carving this from the start to the finish, including the layout and, and the finishing process. So I think those are really good videos to watch just to see what the process is. And then, of course, the last thing is uh, the free course that we have a link to on the website, Make a Wood Sign website, which is uh, Seven Steps to Sign Carving Basics. And that really kind of gives you a, a basic understanding of the process of uh, making a sign from start to finish. I don't know what that was. Oh, yeah. That was some feedback from somewhere, somehow. Um, anyway, so that's what I answered Steve. And... Uh, then if um, if you guys have more questions on that, let me know. I have a bunch of videos. In fact, we're, you know, I was just checking the other day. We do so many videos, I don't keep track very often of how many videos we have. But we're approaching 1,500 videos. Uh, we're, oh we're only a, a week or two away, I think, from having 1,500 videos, which is absolutely amazing that we've done that many. Anyway, I, it, it only proves that I just can't stop talking. That's, <laughs> uh, I guess that's what that... You know, I didn't say it. <laughs> I guess that's you know what, what that means. Um, oh, we didn't put the mic in. Vicky didn't put the mic in. Does it sound bad? No, I just... Nobody has said anything? No. Well, I guess maybe I'm talking loud enough. That should make this bit better. Vicky just plugged in the microphone. You guys, it, it, it looks okay on my end, so it must be the internet. 
Did you, uh, it says some glitching. Did you take it off of, uh... I did. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry about that. The good thing is we record all these and then we post them later on on the YouTube channel. So you can always catch up, uh, on there and generally the, the recording with the iPad is really good and the sound normally is really good. So, uh, it's just be a week or two behind. So, uh, anyway, that's the first question. Second question is from our, uh, one of our favorite people, Pam Berry. So, Miss Pam wrote me an email. Yeah, you guys, I'm not here. I sent her an email earlier. You guys probably have already seen this. I think she posted it on Facebook. Uh, said, I used uh, vinyl instead of carving because of this grain. Uh, it looked uh, kind of scary, uh, but it's, it's beautiful. So, she put epoxy resin on it first, sanded it smooth, put the vinyl on, and then another coat of epoxy resin, and obviously it's a flood coat. My question for you is, would you have attempted to carve this? Uh, I didn't want to ruin such a beautiful piece of live oh, edge walnut. That, yeah. Is that gorgeous or what? So let me give you my thoughts on that. I answered Pam All already. All right, you guys, hold on a minute. I'm going to check something. Don't go away. All right, let's see if that will help. That is beautiful. Yeah, it's an absolutely stunning uh, board, and uh, and Pam did a great job on it. So, uh, th to answer Pam's question, I would have carved this, but I'm probably a, a little bit more confident in my carving than uh, maybe some other people. So I would have really loved the challenge of carving this, even though it looks pretty gnarly. Um, but here's the bottom line, and, and let me show you okay, an so example. Yeah, now it's better. Now it's better? Yeah, so we have to check that every time yeah. then. Well, I, the, the iPad updated too. Oh, okay. So you guys just saw this. This is, a, this is that project, that um, serving tray that Vicki made. But... Uh, if you think about it, guys, you guys know, if you watch the videos, you know that these are carved images in here. But do they really look any different, the fact that they're carved, rather than being vinyl? I don't think they, they if that was a vinyl applique on top of resin, it probably wouldn't look any different than the fact that I carved these. So the, the end result is pretty much the same as what Pam did on her sign. So I don't, you know, I don't think that, uh, I, I think that she did exactly right. And the bottom line is she came out with a great product. And it, Thank you, Frank. it doesn't look much different than if she had carved it and then filled it with black or sprayed it. Honestly, I've done that many times and too. And he said, when did Eric carve that? It's on the video, one of the videos on the making of this. Yeah, I think we did three one. videos on this. So on video... Was it video one or video two I carved it? I think it was on video two that I carved it. So it would have been uh, last week on a video last week. But yeah, they are carved, Andy. But again, uh, the difference between this process and what Pam did, not that much different is, as far as the end result. So, um, Thank you, Tracy. You, you know, as long as you guys are making cool stuff, that's what really counts. So uh, Pam, I, don't, I wouldn't... I wouldn't feel bad at all because you ended up with a fantastic looking product and the fact that that's vinyl and not carved, uh, bottom line, you're the only one that knows it. See, Glenn Showalter said, uh, I did some resin and filled with epoxy. Yeah. Uh, I don't like it because you can't tell if it's carved or not. Yeah, and that's the thing. Sorry, Gary, uh, not much I can do, unfortunately. Yeah, that, and that's the thing. Oh, John Hall said it was video too because I changed the board, remember? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was video yeah. too. Um, and that and that's absolutely true. The epoxy, pretty much that could be just vinyl on there. And nobody, unless they know and have seen the videos, they couldn't tell that that's not just a vinyl applique on there and uh, that it's not carved. We know it's carved. And I think the recipient of this, who gets this, I think he will know it's carved because we'll tell him. Jamie McCord said, my lines aren't so aren't so straight that's how I can tell if it's carved <laughs> well that'll hi, Carmen. that'll change uh, Jamie uh, hi Carmen uh, that'll change Jamie and you're yeah, actually you're making really nice looking signs so 
don't uh, don't cut yourself down. You, you you're making really nice stuff. But anyway, uh, my whole point with uh, Pam, I hope that I got across to her that uh, she made a great looking product. And the fact that it's not carved doesn't make it any less of a, a great looking product. So um, if you guys run across the board like this, that you're a little apprehensive about carving, hey, do it. Do what Pam did. Who cares if it, if it came out as a great product, then, uh, you know, who cares if it's carved? Anyway, uh, Andy said he looked last night and couldn't find that video. He'll check again. Who did? Andy. Andy? Andy. Uh, it's there, Andy. I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, let's move on to sign carvers of the day. Yeah, I think I touched. Andy, tell Stephanie hi for me. Steph. Steph. Great people. Terrific people. We talked about them a little bit last mm -hmm. night. You'll see your name mentioned on the uh, maybe. Unless, I, Unless cut I cut it out. out. Unless I cut it out. Danny Meadows. Danny, if you guys don't know, Danny is the guy that supplies all of our Nebo products and a bunch of giveaways. And uh, just a, uh, we've done a, uh, we did a Zoom with him and Dawn, his, uh, his lovely bride. And we just had a blast. Just great, great people. Anyway, he did a bunch of these for a local Christian motorcycle club. So I don't know if you can read what it says on there. I think it says Redeemers. That's the name of the club. And uh, Brotherhood. Redeemed Brotherhood. Anyway, terrific job, Danny. Beautiful work, buddy. Shirley Hall Fleeman. I love that. We know her. Uh, yeah, I, do, I really think that's a cool sign. Just so neat. So um, Shirley really makes some beautiful stuff. And you guys know that. She was on the Zoom call with us uh what about a month ago something like that a few weeks ago anyway just a super super sweet lady she love her work great job shirley Hi, David. these are some uh this this group of five is pretty amazing oh, wow. chad uh Spall, spallinger made for a father and son in the u.s air force 200th red horse squadron 16 by 30 Half inch inset stars carved with a 60 degree. Horses uh, are uh, dimple background and a hot seller. He priced these at 175 uh, at 175 a piece. But those are spectacular, Chad. Just absolutely beautiful. stunning, man. Beautiful, beautiful work, buddy. And he said, uh, Steph says hi back. She can't talk. She's been to the dentist. <laughs> hey, Steph. Uh, Gary Litchfield. Uh, did you say Gary was here? I, th I think you said something. So Live Edge Walnut. User profile, a 90 degree, and uh, the black primer. So uh, beautiful work. I love that Live Edge Walnut. And I like it when it's got a mixture of dark and light like that. Gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful work, Gary. And uh, Walnut's not that simple to carve either. That's some pretty hard stuff. And last but not least, Rob and Nancy Wood. Check these out. Oh, wow. So these are for friends that have a bike shop, High Gear in Emporia, Kansas. They run a charity called Handlebars of Hope. Uh, they have a bike race to raise funds called the uh, called La Grind. So that is uh, just some wow. spectacular work, man. Gosh, this group of five sign carvers of the day is, is as good a group as I remember seeing in a long time. Anyway, just spectacular work, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Love it. Anyway, okay, so that is the sign carvers of the day. Uh, what else do we need to touch on? Uh, we've got another, uh, again, a project video coming up on Monday. Tomorrow night, we'll be over on YouTube, YouTube Live with Dad, and uh, we've got some stuff planned for that. We'll be doing a giveaway, I'm sure, as we always do, or it seems like we pretty much always do. And then Sunday, a senior moment. Saturday, no video on Saturday, because Vicki and I will be doing video number five class on our Zoom workshop, which uh, I think is going uh really really good we're having so much fun with it and we're getting really good feedback from the attendees so uh, that's something we probably will be doing more of in the future uh what else anything i'm forgetting 
All right, boys and girls. So, uh, oh, yeah, I wanted to show the whiteboard. So here is my email, and here's those two videos that I was yeah. referencing. Any new videos for my table? Hopefully, now that the weather's getting better. Yeah, it was. It's supposed to get up to 90 over the weekend, so we're hoping I to get out get there. Up to 90 today. We're hoping to get out there and uh, get working on that thing. So anyway, here's those two videos I was talking about on those signs and uh, my email. So if I can answer any questions for you at all, guys, please let me know. Keep those sign covers of the day coming. Richard and Gracie said the Zoom class is great. Good night, all. Good night, Richard. See you who said that? Saturday. Richard did? Richard, yeah. Thanks, Richard. We appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying those, buddy. Michelle Sw Sw Swindeman Booth says she got snow in Michigan today. Oof. Wow. Sorry. Yeah. No kidding. I thought it was supposed to be spring everywhere. Evidently not. Um, Bye, Shirley. Anyway, so thanks, guys. We appreciate it. If, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're seeing this on YouTube, please subscribe uh, and consider sharing it with your friends and family, any woodworkers that want to learn how to make signs. Um, I'm post. I'm trying to post a little bit more on Instagram lately. I've been kind of lax on that the last month or so, but I'm getting back on there. And uh, Ooh, three inches of snow, upstate New York, snow oof, in Ohio. Wow. Michelle says little April Fool's joke from Mother Nature. <laughs> Gee, yeah, just a little. Okay. All right. Good night, you guys. Happy Easter, everyone. Yeah, happy Easter. If we don't see you before, but we'll be over on YouTube tomorrow night. So I hope you guys can join us over there, same time, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Have a great night. We love you. Thanks so much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.